Alrighty, let's continue with the album. Always like that. Let's make a small, um, quick photo album for four by six inches um, and ten by fifteen centimeters. So first we are measure the height of our little album and this is 11 so I want to make it 10.5 just a little smaller 10.5 and in inches I like to make 4 no just a little bigger because the photos are going to be 4 by 6 so for one of an eight. Yeah. For one of an eight and for the Dutch people 10.5 centimeters. So first we cut it. We cut this paper by four one one of an eight I said. Yes. Just a quick check. Yes, now it's a little smaller. Now, the first one. We're going to make the stack the deck hinge for this little one. So first score at a half inch and then one, two, three at one inch. No, that's wrong. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, 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 guys. At a half inch, that's easy. And then I count one, two, three, and then I have seven of an eight inch. Yes, that's the right one. Seven of an eight inch. And then I cut this one at a half inch. So. This is, I hope you can see the lines, a half inch, and this is um, 3 sixteenth. 3 of an 8, 3, 1, 2, three. yeah, 3 of an 8 <laughs> inch, and this is a half inch. So let's make another one. Again, score at a half inch, and now we are having the double size of opening so one two three one two three and then i have one two three one one fourth of an inch score and then again i cut it at a half inch so i count my uh, grooves in my scoreboard but you know what i mean now score again at a half inch and then one two three one two three one two three and then I am ending at four five of an eight and then again I cut it at a half inch alrighty put this away and now we can fold it all it to another so on the back we are putting tape on it so this is the first one now it's my tape is not so I overlap it just like that And 
then this comes in the other one. I always like to use extra glue. Now let's see how we are going to manage. I start at the bottom and I line it up equally as good as I can. And that's not my favorite part, but it must. And then I go to the upper and I secure my paper. Yes, now. This tape is too wide, so let's grab a smaller one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. And again, line it up. I do it just first at the bottom and then go to the top and lay it straight. There you go. And then you have your stack the deck hinge. And yes, there are, is a little space, but like I said, we're just making a small photo album. So yes, here it is. Easy peasy. Now, let's see. This is coming in here. But I think I first cover this up with the sign paper. Yes, let's get back to you in a minute. So let's glue our hinge in the album. If you are ready for decoration. Just, let's see. We want it to go straight, just do it again, first at the bottom, and then at the top. Check, 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 check. If you like, if you like, you can put a bread in and because I did not do the outside yet, I do like it, but I think this is, this is just a small album, you don't need to, but for just in case I do. I do, I do, I do. And I like that the silver is coming back in this project. So, give it a push. 
push and then the other side so now it can't go anywhere yes already let's make the pages So let's make some pages in this album and I thought it will be fun if I use right away decorative page paper because I tell you in a minute um, yeah let's tell me right now <laughs> otherwise I make mistakes again um, the reason why because this is a pretty thin um, album and because I I do want to make six pages. I want to make it as thin as possible to put enough photos in. So I think if you do it immediately with design paper, then I think it matters. But let's see. I cut it at six to an eight. Six to an eight. And before you're using your design paper, just take a notice that if there are, um, let me see, let me explain. I did try one uh, first out, of course, and I did use this, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> and I did use this design paper, but when you flip it over, it's upside down. So, I try it with paper that don't have any pictures to manage that I go upside down blah 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 <laughs> alrighty so the first the first score line it must be at a half inch and the second one at four three four four three four that's here Fold it. And fold it again. And then this can cut loose. And then you glue it together. But first I want to smooch already because it's easier to do when it's not glue all together like that then my tape where was my tape here is my tape and i know i not must work on my scoreboard but just for a second Put some extra glue on. And close it. And there you have your first tunnel. Let's do some smooching. On this side too. Oh no. If this is not doing right for you, then cut it with your scissor and I recommend it with the scissor because I was just too cautious that I will cut my fold line. So this is the first page and it should be and now it doesn't matter if you flip it around. But if you are using an image, then it does. Then it does go upside down. So please notice that. Don't make the same mistake as I do. And now it should be coming over the hinge like this. And now you can put your photos on. Let's grab my white and then you still have a nice decorative edge 
but if you prefer using white then you can use your white for making the page but I think this is pretty loving to use the the design paper already for yeah I think I do like it and we still have room for making a nice white tag for in it I think this will fit also yes it does so you still can make a nice little tag in for put photos in. yeah okay shall I do one more with you alrighty let's pick a design paper and let's grab this one and let's cut it at six two of an eight at the half inch and let's pick four three fourths this four three fourths that's it that's it and what you can do is put some tape on right now. I think this is easier. And then fold it like that. And then cut it gently with your scissors for me this is more easier yes it does yeah that's the second one hmm. pretty easy don't you think I think it's pretty easy it's not always have to be that difficult yep and this is going to be on our next hinge there you go and this goes on and on yeah I think it's lovely yep let's continue so let's glue our pages in and I just put some tape on these hinges but I still like to use some extra glue so you can move it around a bit and then it's nothing more to it than just shovel it over it and secure it not the way not all the way down just leave one or two millimeters away from the fold line from the hinge let's do another one peel off your tape and I do the each side just a little extra tape, uh, glue on and then move it around not all the way to the bottom just one or two one or two millimeters is enough lay it straight for the other page and when everything is done then you can 
use your bone folder to attach everything. Let's do it again. One more. I really like this glue, especially the, the nozzle. Let's move it around where you are going to like it, one, two millimeters. Look for the other page and secure. the other three pages yeah then when you have all your pages in then it should be look like this one two three four five six pages and six pages and all you can do is put a lovely photo on on the front and one at the back and on this uh, album I did not I do not make any um, flips because this is thick enough. Now we are going to make um, a photo mat in here. So, yep. Let's see, I do have a little change of plan. I, um, let me show you. I pull out the boat because I was looking for a handle because this is going to be pulled out of the buggy so um, I searched and searched but I did not have any uh, silver colored um, handle so I decided to make it with ribbon with seam binding and the easiest way is to do it with two holes in here so I am going to make two holes in here with eyelets and then wrap my seam binding around so give me a minute and then it look like this so you can pull on this to pull it out yeah i think it's pretty pretty simple also not too much embellished and in here just a little pocket with the little I cut apart out to 6 by 6 and here are the plain pages for leaving nice photos or whatever you're going to glue on like this for example and in each page I made a tag and you can I did uh, cover it up with um, design paper otherwise I thought it was too too plain and too boring so I put some design paper on and I think it looks lovely and you can still uh, put photos on of course and so yeah there's it is and when you put the photos on then of course you get a thicker and thicker album here also just the little tags from the kit and like you see now it's not that thick but if you put the photos in you will get it thicker and thicker so this is coming underneath the baby buggy buggy yes yep love it the next step what I like to do is put in the quip himself I want to make a little card box, a little, how you call this one? Yeah. And then there, I, mm. <laughs> but what I meant is I make a little card that go in here and in between them I going to put little cards in it like this or whatever you're going to need. So, like that. So, that is what the planning is. So, let's get started. I just made four of these already with just lightweight chipboard. 
for the sturdiness and make sure if you are going to make this that your lid is not coming above it so it must fit underneath your blanket and it does so please measure it pretty well mine is mine is eight and a half centimeters eight point four centimeters and an inches and nine is three two of an eight inch but please measure your own project so I put this away for just a minute and then I am going to make the cards I think I am going to make the, these cartridges white and then put lots and lots and lots of nice thing to put photos on or white on. So yeah, let's see what I come up with.